Hey everyone, here on my channel. In this video, I want to give you some insights in how a week of model rocket development looks like. So here I have the prototype of the next generation parachute system. In order to be able to assemble this prototype, serial number 7, I have to improve some parts. And this will be the first thing I do today. It's 11 o'clock and now the design parts can be printed. The prints are done, therefore it's time to disassemble the old version and to assemble the newer one. This servo hasn't got enough strength, but later this week I will get some stronger servos. So I had dinner and the rest of the evening I have to work on a project for school. Today the weather was so great that I said it didn't have time left to make any progress on the rocket. But at least the package I already mentioned arrived today. So the package contains of some better servos, metal gear instead of plastic only. In this yellow bag there are some new MPU 6050s, then we have a resistor sample book for the upcoming new PCB Ref D, and also for the upcoming PCB I ordered some HC12 modules to hopefully improve radio communication. So starting off the day with soldering the HC12 modules in order to test them later. The tests went perfectly and there are so many advantages of using the HC12 instead of the NRF24. The HC12 is easier to use, smaller, lighter and also comes with an extremely good range without such a big antenna. The only really disadvantage is the price as it's almost double that of the NRF24. After the test with the new modules I can now start testing the parachute system with the stronger servo. In order to do that I had to reprint a part, but now I can start testing. The test was a success and now the SN7 version can be printed. The prints are done and I hope I will find time tomorrow to assemble it. The development of the next generation flight computer RevD is finally coming to an end. Over the course of the last two months I tested almost every aspect of the schematic. I tried to make it as simple, robust and safe as I could. And today I can make the layout of the PCB. What you saw right now was a 5 hour time lapse of making the layout, it's 
half past nine now in the evening and I'm finally done and this is how it looks like. Buffalo Ref D is a small avionics system with the brain of the TNC 4.1. It has a IMU, the MPU 6050, a barometer, the BMP 280, a radio connection, the HC12, a pyro channel control via an optocoupler to ensure that no damage can be caused to the TNC, a RGB LED and a buzzer, but as the current exceeds the maximum output current of the TNC, a low side driver IC is needed. It also features connections for three servos and a seven segment display. Although it has more components, it is even smaller than the REF-C version. In order to achieve this, some of the parts are SMD. It's first day afternoon and it's time to assemble the final SN7 version. The first test was a success, but in order to maximize the spring power, I had to reprint the part. This is how the second test turned out. Now it's time to attach the parachute to the system. The system itself worked perfectly, but in both tests the parachute cords got caught. The main effector for that is the cord winding method. This source of error will hopefully be minimized in the future. It's January the 1st and therefore I wish you all a happy new year. I'm starting this year with routing the Ref D board. Find the, right words. the routing is finished and I have ordered the new PCBs. They should arrive within the next month, so stay tuned for the upcoming posts. That's all from me, thanks for watching this video, have a nice day and I will see you next time.